Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is Daily Drop number 415. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the program. As of late, we've had a renewed push from the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family and his team of handlers to try and say that the picture with him in Virginia is fake. So much so that they even tried to go to the internet to try and get support for this ridiculous narrative. Now... We know that the people who have looked at this picture, who are actual professionals, have come to a completely different conclusion. And we also know that if this picture truly was fake, the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family would be going a lot harder in the paint to prove it. But what has he done? He's had his team use people on Twitter to do their dirty work? How embarrassing. And it's not even like they dredged up some sort of expert in the field. You're just going to grab random users on Twitter and hope that they are the ones that can, you know, prove that this picture is fake. Meanwhile, you have actual professionals like the person we're going to talk about in the article tonight who have come to a completely different conclusion. And frankly, if the engine of my car is effed up, I'm not going to go ask a Twitter user what I should be doing or if the engine is real or not. I go to a mechanic. And the same thing holds here. Where are all of the, the, the experts in Photoshop? Where are all of the forensic experts that are coming out and bolstering Andrew's claims? We haven't seen any, folks, okay? Not one. But on the other hand, what we have seen are actual professionals, photographers, FBI forensic folks coming out and saying that the pictures are, in fact, real. So the, the, the push to try and make it seem like those pictures could be photoshopped or false just shows you how desperate the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family his legal team, and his six supporters truly are at this moment. And in this article from the staff over at iStuff.nz, we're going to hear from the photographer who first saw these photos in 2011. So let's jump into this article and see what this photographer has to say. You know, an actual professional. Headline. The Kiwi photographer caught up in the Prince Andrew, Virginia Roberts saga. This article first appeared December 5th of 2019. And we have covered this article already. But I, I, fi- I guess we need a, a refresher course, a crasher course for some folks who still haven't gotten the idea yet. A Kiwi photographer has found himself caught up in the Prince Andrew and Virginia Roberts claims. In 2011, Michael Thomas made a copy of the now infamous photograph of Prince Andrew posing with his arm around 17-year-old Virginia Roberts. So now, this isn't a guy who saw the picture secondhand. This isn't somebody who saw a uh, picture of a picture. This man saw the actual picture. Can any of you loudmouths out there say the same thing? Any of you detractors? Any of you jackwagons? Of course you can't, because you're just shooting out of the side of your neck, being a fantasist, engaging in a LARP. And frankly, it's disgusting. The fact that the Prince of England's actual handlers would be engaging in such nonsense? I mean, come on, folks. Give me an absolute break already. Talk about being completely unaware of optics, and furthermore, being completely and utterly panicked. The Royal implied in his interview with the BBC, which was hailed as a PR disaster, that the image could have been doctored, despite it having circulated on and off over the course of eight years. Now, how in the hell 
Can anyone try and defend the position of these pictures being faked? If they were fake, don't you think Epstein would have went hard in the paint and brought in all sorts of forensic experts to prove that they were fake? Don't you think Maxwell would have done the same? They can't prove that they're fake, though. You know why? Breaking news, jack wagons. Because they're real. And it's sad to see people try and cling on to some obvious BS narrative and try and use it to muddy the waters. Talk about being gross. Imagine being the Prince of England and having your people engage in this sort of nonsense when he could just clear it all up. Let's clear it all up, Joe Exotic of the Windsor family. Ride your non-allergenic horse right over to the FBI and have a sit down with them and talk to them. But you won't do that either, will you? Because you're not innocent, Joe Exotic of the Windsor family. And it just makes the four or five people who sit around and defend you on a regular basis even look that much more ridiculous. And it's hard to do. It's really hard to look any more ridiculous than your defenders look. But boy, here we are. And they most certainly are looking like they have just piled out of a clown car at the circus. But Thomas from Arrowtown appeared in the BBC's follow-up panorama program to deny the image was a fake. So this photographer not only was um, the one who saw the the photograph first, he was on the BBC program in the follow-up to the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family interview. And he went on record right there on the Panorama interview saying that these pictures are real. Now, this dude is an actual, you know, professional, been doing this for a long time, been working all over the world with photographs. You would think he would know Fugazi from not. Certainly better than some internet user would, that's for sure. Thomas said his photo, a picture of an original snap, was first taken in 2011 while Thomas was in Australia on assignment for the Mail on Sunday, where he worked for 12 years. So this guy has, just at this one job, he worked for the Mail on Sunday for 12 years as a photographer. I would think that that would make him much more of a professional than any of the people that are employed by Prince Andrew in his marketing department or in his crisis management department, okay? Until somebody shows me an expert that says these pictures are fake and the the expert brings receipts, then it's obvious that anyone trying to pitch that narrative has no idea what they're talking about and, in fact, is simply being a stooge, a useful idiot to muddy the waters. I hope you enjoy being that. Must be nice being a useful idiot for the royal house of England. So would that make you, if you're being one of the useful idiots, would that make you the toothless companion of Joe Exotic of the Windsor family? I don't know. Well, it's it's up in the air for now. We'll have to decide the names for the rest of these useful idiots. He told the program he met with Roberts and was handed a collection of photos. But she didn't single out that shot. All right, so the scenario, he meets with Virginia. Virginia had contacted the paper or whatever. He meets with her and she hands him a stack of photos. And the photo with her and the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family is within that stack of photos. It wasn't like she just handed him a stack and then was like, oh, here's this one too. Check this out. It wasn't like she pulled the photo of Joe Exotic out. It was just in amongst the rest of them, he said. He described the collection of printed images as typical teenage snaps. So again, we have a professional photographer who worked for the Daily Mail on Sunday for at least 12 years, um, probably a bunch of other places as well, been around the world. You would think he's handled and he's seen a picture or two in his life, right? Enough to call him an expert. But you mean to tell me that I should listen to a narrative being pitched by 
a couple of yahoos and Prince Andrew's crisis management team? That's the narrative that you're going to believe? With no evidence, huh? Hey, all right, whatever. I got, you know, trust the plan and all, I guess. The original picture of Andrew and Roberts was believed to have been taken at Maxwell's house in Belgravia, London. Maxwell was the co-conspirator of the, the pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I don't think anyone's disputing that it was at the Belgravia uh, townhouse. Oh, you'll have people try and act like, oh, the bathtub was too small. I don't even know how people could try and pitch that nonsense either. Did you not go to college? Were you not in high school at some point? Bathtub is plenty big, folks, okay? Plenty big. And to try and run it and say, oh, well, the bathrobe's not as big. Those weren't my fingers, and we don't even know if these pictures are real and not have any evidence to back it up. Well, it makes you look like a slobbering moron. That's what it makes you look like. And my friends, that most certainly is what the Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, and his crisis team look like. Roberts told Panorama she was trafficked by Epstein and made to have sex with the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family. He categorically denies it. He denies it, but with no evidence. He denies it, but without going to the authorities and going on record. So what is that denial even worth? Sure, it's a nice soundbite. Until it's not. Thomas told Mountain Scene his copy of the photo of the pair together was probably one of the most published pictures in the world at the moment. The whole thing about it being photoshopped is just rubbish. There's no chance that it was. I don't believe there is anyway, he said. So there you go, on the record. This photographer, Michael Thomas, professional, been around the world doing this is telling you it is not Photoshop. The first, the first man to see it. So not me, Bobby Capucci telling you, not Virginia, not anyone else. Okay. An actual professional who saw the picture first. That's what we call receipts, folks. And if you don't have them and all you have are big claims, that means really all you have is a big mouth. A photographer with over 20 years' experience, Thomas had an extensive career covering sports events, including the 1992 Barcelona, Barcelona Olympics, 1991 Rugby World Cup, and Wimbledon between 1989 and 1991. According to his website, he moved back to Queenstown in 2005. So, what are the particulars of all of these people who are saying and claiming that the photo is photoshopped or fake? What's their resume? Where have they been? Have they covered the Olympics, Wimbledon, Rugby World Cup, any of this stuff? A, a 20-year career as a photographer? We got any of those kinds of receipts or do we just got big, fat, loud claims? Because you see, without claims, I mean, without the, the receipts to back those claims up, you just make yourself look like an absolute moron. And the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family has cornered the market at this point. Thomas said he was only a small part in the story. It's funny to think that you're involved in something that's now so big. It was big at the time in 2011, but now it's just gone mad. And again, this is a professional, right, folks? This is why I'm rereading this article. We, we covered this article way, 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 way back. But with these, the new press from the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family and his knucklehead crisis management team, this had to come back out and we had to go ahead and put a stamp on this bad boy again. Because, it, it, again, it's not me telling you this, right? I'm just reporting the news here. I'm just telling you the facts of what this man, the professional photographer, Michael Thomas, has to say. And you could do with that as you will. If you want to believe what uh, someone on the internet says, as opposed to what the professional guys, the, the professional photographer says, I, that's up to you. But the facts on the ground are not ever going to change to fit your narrative. The facts are what they are. 
Speaking to the BBC last month, the Duke of York said of the image, From the investigations that we've done, you can't prove whether or not that photograph is faked or not because it is a photograph of a photograph of a photograph. So it's very difficult to be able to prove it, but I don't remember that photograph ever being taken. So again, his his theory is because it's a photograph of a photograph of a photograph, you can't tell. Well, I'm here to tell you that Michael Thomas saw the real photograph, the actual one. All right? And guess what? He thinks it's real. He says it's real. He's a professional. You, you're a second-rate prince who all you know how to do is grift, steal, and hang out with undesirables. So yeah, I think I'm going to default and listen to the professional, Mr. Princeling. That's me. Oh, excuse me. That's me, but whether that's my hand or whether that's the position, I... But I don't... I have simply no recollection of that photograph ever being taken. Thomas believed the Duke's response muddied the waters and was weird. And that's exactly what they're trying to do here with their new press and with the new knuckleheads pressing it for them. Being a useful idiot must be really hard work. In the BBC program, David Boyes, the lawyer for the survivors, questioned why the image credibility was only being questioned now. Absolutely 100%. If this re- image really was fake, they all would have been all over it. Epstein would have pressed. He would have been pressing like nobody's ever pressed before. But meanwhile, they didn't. They knew better. They knew the score. They didn't want forensic experts from the FBI digging into this. They've, they've had this photograph for years. They just figured out that they think it's a forgery. If it wasn't a real photograph, what's the first thing they would have said years ago? Well, that's not real. And he's 100% right. That's exactly what they would have said. Oh, this photo's fake. F this. Uh, let's, get a fr- let's get a specialist to look at it, and we'll see what's up. In fact, you could even go down to Pawn Stars here in Las Vegas, and I'm sure they got an expert that would be able to take a look. But guess who isn't experts, okay? The jack wagon sitting around on Twitter, banging around on their phones, acting like morons. Those aren't experts, my friends. In fact, those are voices that should be ignored. Roberts claimed the original image had a date stamp on its back March 14th, 2001. The image, along with several others, is now in the FBI's possession. And once again... The FBI having this picture, do you think if it was fake, they would have brought these charges and used Virginia's evidence to bag Maxwell on perjury? The whole entire narrative that this picture is, is fake collapses under the press. And that's what happens when you don't bring receipts to the argument. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. All right, everybody, I will be back tomorrow and we will pick it up where we left off.